The sad reality is that confidence will get you much further in life than intelligence. I can't tell you how many bosses, CEOs and people in high corporate positions I have met that would never hire themselves in terms of intelligence or capabilities. But they're overconfident so much so it's almost fraudulent. And they get far for it. I also have friends who are exceptionally intelligent and hardworking who are still at poverty levels. They think somehow that they will be eventually rewarded for their efforts and their ideas. Sad truth is that they will not. Some confident asshole will simply take advantage of them or outright take credit for their hard work. I believe this is an unpopular opinion because the majority of people I know are in the latter situation or think that's what they should aspire to be to achieve success. Editor commenter made a good point that my use of confidence is really referring to a big ego. Confidence. Or a big ego can give you determination that is not present in most people and determination can get a lot done. This can lead to both great and terrible outcomes. I believe an important piece of intelligence that isn't measured on IQ tests is an ability to relate to other people and articulate your thoughts in ways that others can understand. I know many intelligent people that can't effectively interact with others. And they often get upset that other less intelligent people are promoted above them. They fail to realize they don't play nice with others and their personality is their problem. They are doomed to a career that includes them working alone. This will never be a leadership position. And connections will get you even further. Half of my dad's employees are our relatives or friends and they were definitely not the most qualified for the position LMAO. He even admits that himself such is life though. Yep it's pretty common that people prefer confidence, moderated aggression, and drive over simply being intelligent. It doesn't actually matter if you know what you are doing or talking about as long as others feel like you're probably right. And if things go right they are an amazing genius. If things go wrong then they are usually smooth enough to deal with blowback or can shift the blame. The sad reality is a lot of people don't seem to have both. Bet you OP thinks he's a lot smarter than he actually is. You don't really have to be that confident. You only need to know how to push a product. And the product is you. Lie. Cheat steal, get ahead, crush the little guy, advance, take over Yugoslavia. I am 35 and I realize this now. If you are confident, that makes you calm. So you just calmly do decent stuff day by day and most likely end up somewhere pretty good. Intelligence is always predicting possible risks and crippling you with panic. Charisma and confidence go hand in hard. And charisma is what people connect to most. Higher level jobs require people's skills. Or at least the illusion of them. If you're managing people or meeting clients or shareholders. You need them to like you. You can always outsource a skill task and have someone write a PowerPoint for you as long as you're good at presenting it. But it doesn't work the other way around. You can't have an underling trusted with doing the big presentations or reacting on the fly. No matter how smart and capable you are. I've had a pretty successful career and it has 100 been because of exuding confidence. I'm pretty much an idiot. When I share this with people. I'm always told that it isn't true. I must be smart. Not so. I am an idiot and I know this because I am me. Here's an unpopular opinion. If a less intelligent person can outmaneuver you and take advantage of you in life then you're not 
as intelligent as you think you are. Fake it till you make it. Confidence. Charm. Being able to schmooze the right people and undermine sabotage threats is how to truly get ahead. It's why psychopathy and narcissism are overrepresented in higher positions. And why most people will never get there. Confidence can certainly come with that extra special kind of stupid that's so stupid it doesn't. No it's stupid. Every high level exec I had interacted with was genuinely smart. But not the smartest guy in the room smart. But leadership and strategy needs you be just smart enough the rest is other qualities. And it even makes sense if you think about it. Those people who faked it until they made it are still faking it today. I remember my professor in college saying that while America has fallen behind other countries in education, that our people are still number one in the confidence by a big margin. With how dumb we are. It's definitely a dangerous mix lol. Intelligence is about the mind. Confidence is about taking action. Generally speaking, DOIBG will get you further in life than just thinking. The answer is you need both. Those with just one or the other with have deficiencies that hamper them. Confidence doesn't have to be brash and a quiet confidence actually makes people respond better. Because they've all met the brash ones and discovered that for some that was all they they had. Going for them. This is the truth. I'm almost 50 years old. Almost all jobs I've held had a loud. Obnoxious person at the top. Often. They were also tall. In the few cases when they weren't loud. Obnoxious or tall. They were instead sneaky and doing stuff that they shouldn't have been doing. Intelligence or at least relevant credentials gets you the interview. Confidence and social aptitude gets you hired. Most big law firms won't consider a person who didn't attend AT14 law school. But once you have the necessary but insufficient qualification yeah. Confidence and likability matter. Most likable guy at Wharton is going places. Most likable guy at local CC? Not so much. How is that sad? Or unpopular? I can't tell you how many bosses, CEOs and people in high corporate positions I have met that would never hire themselves in terms of intelligence or capabilities. What a wild assumption, LMAO. Do you think these people don't need to be intelligent to do the job or something? These people are given responsibilities that can destroy a company just because they're confident. You haven't met a single boss CEO. You're just making shit up. Isn't it obvious? If you walk confidently into failure you're more likely to learn something from that failure. Or, you may succeed. Confidence is one thing though and NGAF is another. But both can lead to similar outcomes. If you don't have confidence, try caring less about what others think while still maintaining professionalism. How do you know? There are plenty of confident people working at Starbucks while failing to build an acting career. Doing low paid activism. Or in prison for fraud. Conversely, although intelligence is certainly not the only trait valuable in leadership roles, you don't actually see that many below average intelligence people there. The NBA isn't just the tallest people in the country, nor the most athletic. No different than dating. Confidence can win over intelligence or other factors. Emotional intelligence isn't exactly taught or a science. But being confident in your communication definitely gets people to notice you and acknowledge you. It's like the secret. If they have good skills in envisioning their life. Being smart doesn't mean you will achieve your goals if you don't own it right.